Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm diving into one of the most exciting features for SharePoint from Microsoft Ignite 2024 that probably got unnoticed by a lot of attendees. And we will be seeing flexible layouts. If you are looking to create unique and dynamic page designs, well, this is a game changer and you can miss everything that is about to arrive. So let's get started and let's see what is the flexible layouts for SharePoint pages. First off, let's talk about the foundation of flexible layouts, the 12 column grid system. This new feature allows you to break free from the traditional one, two and three column layouts that exists today on SharePoint and brings a 12 column grid that gives you the flexibility to create more complex and visually appealing designs. So this is a common grid for web pages and is widely used by responsive frameworks. And it's great to see SharePoint adopting the new column as well on the pages. What's even better is that it seems that you can combine flexible layouts with non-flexible layouts. And this means that you can mix and match different sections to create a truly customized page that fits your needs perfectly. So if you want to get a traditional one column or two columns or three columns mixed with a flexible zone, looks like that it can according to what we just saw in the live demo. So. Hopefully, this is how things will land and you will be able to mix and match flexible grid system with the traditional layouts that currently exist. One of the coolest aspects of the flexible layouts is the ability to drag and drop elements and you can easily move images and text and other content around the grid to resize them as you need. So this makes it super easy to create a layout that looks exactly how you want it. And for the first time, it can actually match all the crazy ideas and designs that your designers send to you to implement on SharePoint pages. And this is awesome. Whether you are a professional web designer or just getting started, the flexible grid feature is designed to be user friendly and intuitive to use. So you can customize your page without the need of having coding skills. Another great feature is the design section templates. These templates provide beautiful design options that you can apply to your flexible layout sections. And this helps you to create a cohesive and visually stunning page without spending hours on the design work. You can use them as starting points and then refine them to include the elements and the text that you want to see in your pages. We don't know everything yet about the flexible layouts. We just saw this demo at Ignite, so we don't know what web parts will be available for the new flexible grid system and if custom web parts will be possible to use in this grid system if they are built to be resizable and adjustable to the new layout. So there's a lot of new things still to be uncovered, but well, stay tuned because this feature was added to the roadmap back in May this year and it's scheduled to be released in March 2025. If you want to know more about other features that were announced or released during Ignite for SharePoint and related technologies, make sure you check the link that I have in the description of the video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to make sure that you don't miss the video about the flexible layouts that I will do as soon as I can get my hands on this awesome feature. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.